Hello my friends, my name's LazyJet, welcome back to Train Simulator 2021. Today we are back doing a very old classic favourite. This is probably one of the popular things I've ever done on this channel. We're back doing the jump. And we're going to be using different kind of trains today. Uh, for the jump we have got Mallard with the LNER uh, Teak Coaches. We've got everyone's favourite, the, uh, the Thumper. I like nickname it Thumper. And just for a little video experiment, we've got the Superclass 47. And lastly, we have the Class 66 with some freight. Now, the reason why I've got all these different kind of trains is because I don't know... Like, I don't know what the results are. The results could be different. And so those of you who have noticed, I'm actually using a new light on this camera. My dad was so kind enough to actually buy me a circular light. And what's clever about this light is I can turn up and down the brightness. So if I wanted to go really dim, I can change the brightness from dim and then change it to bright. Now this actually has a light mode where I can change it from normal uh, to like a very tanned orange. It depends what kind of lighting I've got. Or if I want it very white or just, or just bright white, I press the button again. But it kind of makes my skin look a bit ghost-like, doesn't it? I kind of look like a ghost. It's it's too white, so I have it on the normal setting. There we go. Let me know in the comment section below of what do you think of this brand new light. Shall I keep it? Shall I use it in future videos? Um, or shall I just get, say, no, Oliver, it's rubbish. Just get rid of it. So anyway, back to the jump. Uh, I think to start off with, we should start with Mallard to see um, how fast we can get Mallard down the hill. And... See what would happen because you guys have not actually seen um, the new jump yet. This is the new, well, ramp of death, I like to call it. Ooh. So the trains are going to come down the hill at tremendous speed. Oh, look, we've got flowers. God, already, like, I've only just built this and already it's overgrown with flowers. How lovely. But if we go all the way to the end, look at this. Now, this is pretty bonkers. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> what do you guys think? So the train is going to come down the hill at tremendous speed, go up the ramp, and then bosh right in to the chasm or, or the, the, I don't know what to call this, the cavern of doom. Yeah, I like that, the, the cavern of doom. I mean, look at this. Now, that is definitely a cavern of doom, isn't it? This is probably one of those ideas that just makes no sense. Like, in my mind, it looks really good, but when I see it in front of me, it's even better. But also, it's one of those ideas where I think, I'm not actually so sure if this is going to work. Well, let's find out, shall we? So we're going to start with Mallard, see how fast uh, we can get Mallard down the hill. Now, this hill is insane. Come on, Mallard. Uh, you know what to do. Full speed down the hill. What can possibly go wrong? Okay, doing a very steady of 75 miles per hour. Oh, and we haven't got our lights on. How do I put headlights on? There we go. I've been playing a, a game lately, and I forgot to, how all the buttons and things work. That's the trouble when I start playing new games. I forget how the old games that I used to play, how the buttons and keys work. Like, it, it's confusing. Come on, Mallard, doing uh, 87 miles per hour. That's good. That's, that's the speed we're looking for. 119. <laughs> now, if you look on the mini-map, you can actually see where the drop actually starts, where it gets much more steeper on this, uh, on this hill climb. So, can I see in the disc? I can just see where the drop starts. Okay, I can see the drop. Here we go. I can actually see the ramp in the distance as well. That's insane. Okay, we're on the drop now. Now, let's have a look at the tender. Oh, God, the tender is definitely wobbling. How about the coaches? <laughs> look at the coaches! Mallard is definitely picked up a lot of speed. We're doing 136 miles per hour. We've beaten the record. 137. 139. 144. Go, Mallard, go! I want to get the, uh, the camera position uh, ready. So uh, I just need to move the camera here. Is Mallard going to make it up this hill though? Oh god, that's dangerous. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Wait, it looks like a roller coaster. Right, spread your wings, Mallard. Woohoo! Whoa! Oh no! Oh, coach has got stuck on the on the ramp. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That was so cool. We went really far. Oh, that was so cool. Right, our next train is Thumper. Let's just let's just get into it. There's no need to, for an introduction because it's Thumper. Is it weird that I actually feel bad that I'm actually going to be throwing Thumper off an edge of a cliff? 
I do, I, I do, I really do feel bad about this. So far, Thumper is doing 61 miles per hour. It's not very fast. Should go, should go a bit more faster than this, surely. But then again, Thumper isn't really built for speed, because um, it's a DMU, isn't it? A diesel multiple unit. Um, other DMUs are available, but Thumper's the best. Guys, I'm not making this up, but I can actually smell burnt spaghetti bolognese right now. Either my neighbours are burning their dinner, or I'm having a stroke. It could be either one of those. I don't know. Thumper is doing an amazing 90 miles per hour. That's that's pretty fast, but it's not as fast as I want it to, to go, if I had to be honest. I was hoping it would go a bit more faster. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I think this is the first time I've ever seen Thumper doing 100 miles per hour. Now that is some serious speed for Thumper. <laughs> that's the most funniest sounding horn ever, especially at this speed. <laughs> That's so funny. Right, there it is. There's the drop. This is where we get even more faster. Good, you can actually... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, my God. Look at... Oh, my God. Look at this. You can see it just bouncing all over the place. So, this is what it's like during an earthquake. How lovely. What's our speed now? 118 miles per hour. 119 miles per hour. I can get faster than that. 120. Hmm. I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but if you look closely at Thumper, you can actually see it shaking from side to side because we're actually going too, like way too fast. Don't know if you guys can see that. That is, that's amazing. Oh, I can see the ramp in the distance. What's our speed? 124 miles per hour. It's not as fast as Mallard, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take this speed. Right, I think we should be in a different position this time. I, I want to see it like when it comes down off the slope then up the ramp because it did look very weird from a distance. I want to see what it looks like when it's like up close because um, we saw it when Mallard did it and it looked pretty pretty incredible. Right Thumper this is your time to shine. Have you got your wing? Oh no Thumper doesn't have, trains don't have wings. There we go up the ramp you go. I'm just going to follow it. Oh this is a good shot. This is a good shot and away we go Whoa this is going really far. Look at this Whee! Oh my god where I can see death Oh, I can see stars! I can't see anything! We're in space! We were going so fast that we actually, um, flew into space. Do you know what? Just for today's video, I think we're going to skip the Superclass 47 because in my previous crash compilation videos, you have seen the Superclass 47 flying off the ramp um, in my previous videos. So we're just going to skip the Superclass 47 today and we're just going to go for the Class 66 because I'm really curious to see what would happen to all of its freight and the actual locomotive itself. Let me fly it off the ramp. So, Superclass 47, uh, we're not going to be using you in today's video. Sorry. But never mind, we still got a lovely Class 66. I mean, everyone likes a Class 66. Um, just don't know how to drive. Right, how do I drive this? Is it Shift W? Oh, there we go. I do know how to drive it. Put it in forward. Press Q to turn that off. Um, hold and release the brakes. This thing, I have to say, the Class 66s, they have some really weird brakes. There we go, brakes released. And then put the thing on maximum power. And listen to the thing rev. There we go. Oh, and we haven't got our lights on. We've got to have our lights on, Oliver. There we go. Come on, rev those revs. And 66. There we go. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Listen to the sound of this thing. This thing definitely does roar. I believe that the Class 66 will do well. Um, although it is pulling quite a lot of freight than 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 the others, I think it's, I think the Class 66 is, is pulling the most um, out of all of them. So I, I'm pretty sure that maybe this could go horribly wrong. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm doing these because you know it's experimental. And look at the sheer drop on the other side. I mean, look at this. I mean, can you imagine if you were going sledding down that in the snow? Yeah, I can imagine that, because you, you, you'll die. I like how it says that we're doing 92.4 miles per hour, but the speed limit is 25. We're definitely breaking the speed limit right now. I mean, I, I could be fined a million pounds for doing that on the railway. Can I open the windows? Oh, no, you can't, you can't open the window. Oh, oh, no, I can! I can! I can open the windows! <laughs> That's so cool! Oh, I love it! Can I move around? Yeah, I can move around. Oh, what's this? Don't know what that does. Can I do anything up here? No. 
There we go, 100 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. This is, uh, this is dangerous. Okay, here's the drop. Very nervous. This is where it gets very bouncy. I hope it'll still stay on track. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh, it it's rocking from side to side a bit. How's the freight doing? Oh, the freight is doing absolutely terrible. Can you actually see him bouncing around? Right, I'm gonna do the same thing what I did with Thumper, where I can actually like follow it off the tracks with, with my amazing camera skills. I don't have any. Uh, but here we go. Uh, I see the 66 in the distance. God, look at the speed of this thing. What are we doing? 115. We're slowing down. Oh dear. All right, 66, this is your final moment. Are you gonna be as successful as Thumper? Probably not, but let's see how far you will go. Here we go. At the very end, uh, 66, now fly! Wow, look at that. Oh, oh, we're not going that far as Thumper. Oh no, we're stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, now I'm, now I'm, I don't know where I am. I'm, I'm stuck in the ramp. I think, I think it's because the freight was so long. My, sorry, my train was so long that it, it kind of didn't make it fully off the tracks. Well, my friends, the results are in. Uh, in first place is Thumper. Second place is uh, Mallard. It didn't go, go as quite as far as Thumper, but it still did all right. But in last place was the Class 66. It's a bit sad. But that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Thank you to my friends and my fans for giving me video ideas for this channel. And a big thank you to you watching at home. You know who you are. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. things sort of